I'm behind on so many things that I decided today I'm just going to take a break and do a little bit of planting, do a little bit of catching up, do a little bit of coffee drinking and book reading and just enjoy our place. I've been a little discouraged this year with my garden and it's not so much the garden's fault it's really on me because I didn't have the time that I wanted to in the garden. I've started a couple of trays for the fall garden because my fall garden was going to be it because the summer garden didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So fall gardening was going to be my thing. But I started seeds, I had seedlings, they did fine, I up-potted them, great, and then they died. I'm assuming it was bad potting soil that I had. So then I started another round because, well, I still had time. And um, same thing, they died. Again, I used different kind of soil, but still didn't really make it. So now it's too late to start over with um, just fresh from seed. So I did go to a local nursery yesterday just to get me a couple of starts, just to have something in the garden. Originally, I had given completely up and I said, nope, just not going to do it. But then every time I look at my garden and I look outside, I'm sad because I don't have anything growing. So I figured I'll just take take care of myself and to make me feel better I'll just buy some seedlings and put those in the ground so I'm gonna do that and catch up on that get that stuff in the ground the greenhouse is doing pretty good and then we're gonna go and do some foraging uh, collect some of the stuff that's been falling off the trees that needs to come into the house and get tinctured so that is going to be um, a fun activity today. We're going to go out in the woods, do some collecting. And I'll take you around for that as well. And then I went all out and I splurged and I bought some ornaments for um, my little tree behind me. So we're going to put those up and um, have some fun in the garden and outside and in the woods today. And it's just going to be a little outside vitamin D garden therapy session. The most perfect beat. Beautiful.
body. Hi. Hi. Hey. My sweet boy. My sweet boy, you're so big now. You're so big. Look at you. You're such a big baby. Such a big baby. Hmm? You want more? Ew. Okay, okay, I got you. What are you doing? I'm not your scratch post. I'm not your scratch post, girl. But look at this. There she is. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Grody. Mm. That's my sweet girl. That's my sweet girl. Mm. Sweet girl. Hi. Hi. How'd this little one get up there? Huh? Did Mama give him extra cuddles? I'm finally getting back out here. We've been busy building and cleaning and doing all kind of stuff, but I now get to go and collect usnia because we just had a tornado warning come through so pretty good thunderstorm so that means we will have limbs down and i should have usnia on the ground to collect so this is literally right out my back door so we've got usnia right here that we can pick off and make medicine with we usually don't have to go very far because we got trees everywhere and Usnia will grow as long as the air is clean and usually all around trees. So I typically don't pick it off directly from trees. I just go and do it from downed limbs and whatever falls on the ground after a storm. Now you see this? It's starting to grow on this live tree right here as well. But we want to leave it alone because it grows really, really slowly. And we don't want to mess with it. We've also got a bunch of, we've got a bunch of fresh turkey tail mushroom out here too, growing on this log. So the good thing about hurricanes and dead trees is a prime growing ground for mushrooms. Check this out. Nice. I usually come out to the back part of our property out here because um, we're not back here a whole lot and there's a bunch of uh, big oaks and the lichen really like to grow on oak trees up high where nobody can get it. So I try to stick around the big trees and see what came down, what came down after or during the storm and pick it up from there. So usually any kind of big oak trees, I can find a lot of usnia around. So that's what we're gonna look for. Oh, there's some, not a whole lot, but hey, I'll pick it up sometimes. It'll still be attached, and then sometimes we can just find it laying around. Just check these. How gorgeous are these? Look at this. So, what you want to look for is dead limbs as much as possible because those are the ones on the ground, and then the, the lichen, the usnia itself, has this bright green, or not bright green, but like light color to it so it kind of stands out from the rest of the brown and green stuff on the ground and you can easily pick it up like that so once you find some usnia on the ground it's safe to say you'll find more because where there's some there's more now if you are familiar with the woods 
you need to also watch out for bugs and spiders and snakes that of course like to hide under the the leaves and uh, the branches and everything so um, make sure you watch out and move things carefully around and you know listen to what's going on around you here uh, the sun is about to set so I need to start making my way towards the house because we got tons of coyotes out here and bobcats and stuff not something that I necessarily want to mess around with so I'm gonna make my way slowly but surely back to the house and um, just collect more stuff on the way up. Look at this beautiful yopon. If you've never tried it, don't mess with the berries, but the leaves are edible and they make a great tea. They kind of have like a citrus, like apple, cinnamon, clove sort of taste to it. So they make a really great tea. And it's the only plant in North America that has caffeine. Well, all in all, I'd say it's been a good day. It's been a good day to get some plants in the ground and get some foraging done and get some animal cuddles in. The weather's been kind of back and forth. We had sun, we had rain, we had clouds, and it cooled down and it warmed back up. But it's been a great day. And I feel like I'm finally getting caught up with some of the things that we need to do around here. And I'm glad I was able to bring you along. I hope you learned something. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.